Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Sunday, July 30th, 2017. It's about oh, 7.20 in the morning. and I don't know, it probably feels like it's around 55, 60 degrees. I don't know. I've been sitting out here for about an hour. Oh, doing some readings and drinking some really, really bad coffee. It's the worst co coffee I've had in a long time. But a bad cup of coffee is better than none at all. I'm sitting here with Samuel and Seiji. Mikey's been in and out already. Joey's been wandering back and forth across the street to neighbor Jerry's and neighbor Tom's. He caught a moth earlier and was taking some still pictures of him standing on his hind legs. Audie came out. She went out the front door, went down the steps, came down the sidewalk and stood here a minute and then went back in the house. She's on the sun porch now. Elsa's probably off hunting. So is Maxie. About halfway through our readings, got to do a 24-hour book yet. And our Sioux Nation book, our oh, book, book Eddie B gave us called, what is that called? About the rule of St. Benedict written for modern times. Always we begin again. Oh, look, here comes Max. Something scared him. Maxie, come on. Come on, buddy. Something scared him. Come on, buddy. And then we have our Rumi that we like to read. Our favorite Rumi. Read a couple extra ones of those yesterday. Here he comes. There's Maxie. There's that Maxie. What's scaring you, buddy? Huh? What's scaring you? Huh? Where are you going, buddy? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Huh? I love you, mister. Oh, boy. There's our wonderful little French press and our bad coffee. Got a few doves singing this morning. Haven't been hearing any robins. Maybe they're starting to pull back out and head to South America. Who knows? Don't hear many cardinals anymore. Um, anyway, where was I? Just rambling. Oh, Maxie sees somebody. There's Maxie and there's Sammy. Yeah, I was just going vacant again. <laughs> now, last night, I, I figured this would happen. Autumn didn't want to come out. And right when I got everybody in, got their treats in, got the place closed up, got sitting ready to watch a movie, she wanted to go out. So I let her out, and she did a walk about around the house, went around to what used to be neighbor Bob's house, walked around out there, walked around, laid out in the, the sidewalk out in front of Bob's house, right in the middle of his driveway. Yeah, and I thought of another story about Seiji, too. He's got friends and fans. Um, this little girl named Olivia that lives on the other side of the block, her and her brother come around, and they always call him Meowsy because that's the sound he makes sometimes when he's talking. And I saw her and her mother in a store one day, and we were talking. I think it was at the video store, and... Uh, she told me that that girl wrote a, a paper for her class and she wrote about Sage. And I was to, so touched by that. I, I gave her a picture of Sage that I had framed. It was like a 12 by 18 picture of him. So anyway, there's that big boy. Hey, come here, buddy. There's Sagey. Look at Sammy. Sammy, what are you thinking, buddy? What are you thinking about? What are you thinking? Oh, Sammy. Ugh. 
I'm gonna stand up and get a shot of Audi too. There's Seiji again. There's that Seiji. Oh yeah. Eh. The back is killing me again today. That spot between my shoulder blades I hurt when I was sleeping the other night. Oh, she's having some breakfast. I bet you she's gonna be coming out soon, aren't you, honey? You having a little breakfast? What are you thinking, baby? What are you thinking about, huh? What are you thinking about, little one? I love you, honey, and what grace has given me may it pass to you. I hope you're feeling well. There's the hold on. Hold on to what is good, even if it is a handful of earth. Hold on to what you believe, even if it is a tree which stands by itself. Hold on to what you must do, even if it is a long way from here. Hold on to life, even when it is easier letting go. Hold on to my hand, even when I have gone away from you. That's Razzy and me shaking hands. There's that Razzy and Margie. Going heading back out into the sunshine and the daylight. Oh, try not to break my neck tripping on stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to hop on the Revo and take a quick run for a 20 mile ride and come home and have some breakfast and take a shower and get ready to go to work. Doing some Johnsonville sausages this morning at, at the Big Blue M. Look at Sammy. There's my Sammy. Yeah, what a pretty boy. What a pretty boy. Look at him. Mm, I love you, buddy. Oh, yeah. So, look at Mackie. Mackie. You were up to no good over there, weren't you? That's all right. There he goes. It's amazing to me how they can jump under a little spot like that. Rascal could even do it when he was 18 years old and almost dying. You know, he could jump underneath between that step and that railing. Oh, boy. I got trouble standing up sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I'm just babbling and rambling, which is probably what I do best. But hey, what'd that say in that one book that Aunt Marge gave me? Whatever you are, be a good one. So, if that's all I can do, that's all I can do. It doesn't matter. So anyway, that's about all we got for right now. Peace and blessings and have a great day.